Hey everyone, another quick video about the new upcoming weapon banner. As we all know, it's about to drop in just a few hours in the American server. I'm here today to convince you to probably summon this weapon banner over actually saving for Hu Tao. Now remember, this is my personal opinion. You guys can do whatever you want. If Hu Tao is your number one waifu, you can summon her and go full forth on that event banner. But I think this weapon banner is a little bit better of a deal and we'll explain just in a little bit. But before we do, a sub to the channel would be amazing. So I'm going to start off by first discussing the new weapon, the Lithic Blade and the Lithic Spear. Both of these weapons are event exclusives, which means you cannot receive them from the standard banner after the event is over. So going into a quick breakdown, what makes these weapons so good is that first of all, they have a decent attack percentage multiplier and a decent base attack. Lithic Spear is really equivalent to the Crescent Pike and the Lithic Blade actually has a really, really insane attack percentage bonus for a four star weapon but what makes these weapons so great is that refine level one they gain seven percent attack and three percent crit rate for every character in your party who hails from leeway now that goes for both the spear and the blade and this one stacks four times depending on how many characters you have so because of these two weapons, you're going to start seeing a really big shift in Genshin Impact. There are going to be so many teams that are currently mixed of Mondstadt and leeway players and you're going to find them transitioning to just leeway characters in order to maximize the four stack which in this case would be 28 percent attack and 12 percent crit rate on top of the base stats and subsets that the weapon provides at refine rank 5 you're getting a 44 percent attack bonus and a 28 percent crit rate bonus this gives 85 percent approximately on the blade and 72 percent approximately on the lithic spear this is actually insane attack bonuses so honestly, if you've been saving for Hu Tao for a while and you still want Hu Tao, you can keep your summons for Hu Tao and just wait for her. But if she's a character like you've already summoned Zhao, you already have a lot of other 5-star characters and you want a good weapon set for your team, this is definitely going to be the weapon banner for you. Not only because of these lithic weapons, but because of the next weapon I'm going to showcase, the Staff of Homa. Of course, unless you're doing around 80 summons, this weapon will not be guaranteed. So I focus mainly on the four star weapons, but if you do get the opportunity to summon for this weapon, it is actually one of the best pole arms in the game. It provides the highest crit damage bonus that's known yet for an item at 66.2% because the artifacts actually provide 62 and the weapons provide a little bit less. It has a really decent base attack at 608, similar to the Wolf's Gravestone. And on top of that, it actually increases your attack based on a percentage of your max HP which doubles when your HP is less than 50%. So for any characters like Zhongli or any other polearm characters, this weapon will probably be one of the best in the game. But I'm going to do a showcase on this weapon for my Zhongli, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video coming out within the next day. So let's say you used up all your Primo gems and you're saved Intertwined Fates and you do not get the Staff of Homa. You will, on the other hand, get the Wolf's Gravestone. Now the reason why this weapon banner is so good because no matter which direction you go, you'll get a great weapon as a result. The Wolf Gravestone is the best 5-star Claymore in the game and it's used on all Claymore characters. Chong Yun, Xin Yan, Razor, Diluc. I use it on my Diluc and I'm showcasing him in the background of this video. So just scroll back if you want to see some screenshots. It provides a crazy attack bonus it has really really good base stats and when you when you do a lot of damage with the weapon eventually you get even more of an attack bonus so there you have it folks what i'm basically saying is no matter what you do in this weapon banner you won't regret what weapons you get because they're all limited time and they're all really great which is why i think you should pull over hu tao in the event banner i'll see you guys next time